I want to ask an honest question because I don't want to assume like I know everything. Have you ever come across a scenario where mother-in-law or father-in-law is demanding for placenta? Have you ever come across such story before such scenario? Mother-in-law, father-in-law is demanding for placenta. Well, that's exactly what my bad wife is saying. That my bad father was demanding for placenta after they gave birth, after she gave birth to my bad child. Was demanding for placenta. I've never seen such case before in my life. I have a child. And when I when my uh, when they give birth to that child, honestly speaking, my father, my mother from the other side, they never asked for any placenta. The only thing they did was say congratulations. Where when are we seeing our grandchild? That's all. Congratulations. How is how is the baby? Hope you have been able to clear the bills. Hope there is no issue. Hope there's no complication. I've never seen a father in law asking for a placenta before. But the same old bad father be the ask of placenta. Well, of course, you know, I've already started narrating the whole scenario. I've already started narrating how Moba's wife is, is giving a testimony in court. I posted a video this morning. Please try as much as possible to watch the video. So this is the continuation of that video I posted this morning. And this time, Wumbi is talking about Mubas' father. The reason why they are quarreling currently, because according to Wumi, Mubas' father and her, they were really, really close. So from Wumi, uh, Mubas' wife, at the Corona inquest, Wumi was made to say his own part of the story. She narrated how she and Mubas' father matter started. She said Mubad father used to be and her used to be very very close and how Mubad's dad prayed for her to conceive. She said they were so close to the extent that Mubad's dad used to bring side chicks to Mubad rented apartment in Lekki. Ah, that close? To the extent, say your father in law, the bristle chick, call your, call your husband as the knack. When are they close like that? <laughs> all those things, they're all more bad life lesson, eh? yeah, life uh, story. As, 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 uh, apart from, uh, apart from, uh, uh, cashing crews or enjoying the story, please learn from it. How can you be so close to your father in law? So that your father in law go to carry chick. Side cheese, come your your house, come knock. Is that no sign of irresponsibility from your own side, as the as uh, the wife to to that man's son? Irresponsibility. No wonder Mobas' father is accusing you of so many things. You are okay with your father-in-law carrying side chick to your to your own house to, to sleep with. Okay, okay. And she said she never raised eyebrows because, according to Wumi, is his son's house. The girl, his girlfriend, the girlfriend was said to be different from the stepmom at home. So Mobad's house was their meeting point. Wumi narrated the problem. Wumi narrated that problem started when she gave birth to Mobad's son. She said Mobad's son Plancetta was the cause of their indifferences. Wumi and Mobad refused to hand over their son Plancetta to the daddy, which caused a lot of argument. And ever since then, it was from one issue to another. According to her, it was originally Mobad's decision not to hand over the Plancetta to the dad. She has the wife just supported the opinion. She also made mention of the allegation from Mobas, uh, from Mobas, uh, from uh, Mobas' dad, of seeing blood-soaked bucket in Mobas' room. She said, 
all of that was lies. And Moba's brother, who stayed with them, can testify to it that the court was just a little court, and was and what was soaked up was water. She narrated how Mobad got the Kurudu show. Of course, that one we have already narrated that, and uh, how Mobad fought with Prime Boy, and everything happened. And also, she narrated how Mobad sustained injury after the fight with Prime Boy. And how she has been receiving death threats since her husband passed on. How people are defaming her on social media over what she didn't do. And how Mobad Canadian visa was approved. Mobad Canadian visa was approved a day before he died. And how she had to run out of her husband's house after Moba's death because of threat. So the next corona inquest was moved to November 15. She will still take the stand to narrate more. Mobad wanted to run away from Nigeria to Canada because of the threat. She wanted to take Wumi, uh, the wife and the son to Canada to stay there permanently. And the visa was already ready before mobile by the next day. So, <laughs> are you not sure all those people spiritually they never knock mobile? Well, she also continued. She said, after the doctor declared mobile dead at this at the second hospital, now she's not narrating what happened. Why? Didn't she write the police report? Because I always say, like, you are the wife, you're supposed to write police report. Why were you waiting for Moba's father to come? Like, Moba's father took the responsibility of all those things. You are the wife, you're supposed to do that. He said, after the doctor declared Moba dead at the second hospital, I didn't call his dad because we were not in good terms. But I called his mom and his auntie in Shango. I guess it was the mom that called his dad. Moba's dad and I are not in good terms. We used to be extremely close, that we were eating in the same plate. He was my friend and confidant. The first issue started when I gave birth to Mobaso and he requested for the placenta. I was wondering what he wanted to do with the placenta, so I told Mobad and Moba said no. That was when the dad started giving me attitude. Also, the dad used to bring his girlfriend to our house to sleep over, not once, not twice. She is in court here listening to me. Is not a, he, she is not a family member and they are not married. She is just a girlfriend. Another stepmom is at home. One day, he didn't tell us another stepmom is at home. He didn't tell us he was coming over with the woman. Moba's mom was in our house paying us a visit. Suddenly, the dad entered with his girlfriend. He was shocked to see Moba's mom there. It, be it became a big issue that day because Moba's mom got angry that why would daddy bring a woman to sleep over in our matrimonial home? We tried to settle it between them. Moba's mom had to vacate the room, we gave her so that daddy and his girlfriend could sleep there. She went to sleep downstairs. Moba's dad thought I was the one that deliberately sent him up, that set him up that day, which wasn't true because nobody knew he was coming. He stopped talking to me since that day. These are the things he has against me. Ah. So the man be the carry girls, they call Mobad house and also wanted placenta. You see how irresponsible that girl was? Irresponsible that girl was. Mobad that very, very responsible. If all those things are true, because a lot of people do not still believe her, people are saying she's complicit. I am not saying if she's saying the truth or not, but if what she said is true, 
then the irresponsibility of Mobad Fadai. Hi. And the irresponsibility of Mobad's wife. Eh? Kai, 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 kai. Eh? Mobad just have a lot of wrong people around him. He himself, he no be man. How your papa go to carry, you know, so you don't marry. Him. You know, you are married. Your papa go to carry woman come your house corner. Daddy, I beg you, I don't go feel to you. You are married, Abby. I don't go feel, I don't go feel to you. Daddy, I feel get rent house for you for somewhere, I beg. Or, or tell any time, I will book hotel for some for somewhere for you, I beg. I don't want me to carry any woman come my own house because I don't trust the woman. You can come, you are, you are free to visit. Mobile was weak. And the wife, that one won't be her body. The father won't be her body. Doing own body, so you don't see wrong people around this guy led to his death. But it's good, such is I'm not saying it's good or like such things usually happen for other people to pick lessons. Me, I've got my own lessons from this whole bad story, and I will definitely work with it. So, more are still coming. The next uh, video I'm going to make, I'm going to talk about the Naramali part. How Naramali was threatening them. How Naramali did a lot of a lot of them. How Bella's mother and Olami they were the only artists in Nigeria that stood for Mobad. There's Latana, the rest were all liars.